better. It's really a fastball with a different grip is all it is. That pitch is out over the plate and hit the deep center field. Taylor is at the track. He's at the wall and he caught it. Michael A. Taylor got his foot on the wall and catapulted himself up. And he did. Michael A. Taylor robs Kisner to end the bottom of the fifth. And that's hit well. Deep left center field. Gone for his first big league home run. Take a look at this home run again. First in his career. Hopefully it's a long one. Man, look at he golfed that. Kinsner was going to catch that ball on the ground. This is nice right here. I didn't realize he went down and got it. Boy, that's that is a big league swing and a big league homer. Now watch what happens afterwards. The fans don't get it. Bader doesn't understand. That's his first big league home run. So he throws it into the fountain. Oh no! Detroit, right? Bogarts down the back hit an airborne throw. Oh yes, got him at first. Outstanding work with Dolbeck on a high stretch. Two. Thank God Bobby D's over there as tall as he is. Get up. Can't stretch. One one. That's a high fly ball. Back into left center. Got a chance to go. Out of here. Home run. A pinch hit home run for Zanino. And the Rays have tied this game. After getting the tying run to the plate in all those innings here in the ninth, with one on and one out, Zanino has hit a pinch hit home run. And this is a 5 5 ball game. Saves last year for Oakland. There's a shot into right center field. That ball is going to be in there. Extra bases. Ramirez heads to the plate and into second, a double for Yandy Diaz, and the Rays take a 6 5 lead. The 2 2 right back up the middle. Speared by Baez, and he flips to Candelario for the out at second. Oh, what a dazzling play by Javier Baez. That was destined for center, but not with him up the middle. Where second base is, as he's diving to his right, he knocks the ball down, it pops out of his glove. He knows that Candy's going to get over there to cover the bag, and without even hardly looking, he flips it between his legs, knowing that it's somewhere in that vicinity, and Candy's going to be able to stretch and get it like a force out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's perfect. If not, you can set a fashion trend yourself as this ball is driven to right. And a leaping try at the wall. Did he get it? He got it. Great catch, Guillermo Heredia. Tip of the cap from Ian Anderson over the wall to bring that one back. And McNeil can't believe it. That'll help your pitcher out right away. Two two. Right field and deep and down the line. It is gone. Two run shot. Pavin Smith again. Local kid makes good. And the Diamondbacks come back again and grab the lead in the ninth inning. Wow. On the ground to first, it's through. Here comes Miller around third, he'll try and score. The throw home is late. Miller's safe, game over. Cleveland wins it in 10. A walk off for Stephen Kwan. A bouncer to third, Chapman. Jays win it. He's asking for a challenge. 
Well, Matt was going to come to get it, but then he stepped back, and then he knew he had to bounce it. And that was a long hop, so it's an easy one for a first baseman. Look at the flexibility of Lighty to get down there almost in the splits. The Yankees appear to be challenging, and there's no downside from a Yankee perspective to do it, but that right foot appears to be on the bag. So the Blue Jays are waiting to shake hands out in the infield. Barnes really taking his time. The 3-1 home. Yes. Ward sends a drive toward the monster in left center field. And it's gone! He got it! The reigning AL Player of the Week does it again! Ground ball. That's going to be a base hit. Chaz McCormick is going to be waved around. He's going to score. The Astros walk it off. Three to two. King Tuck as your. Juan to right field. Hit that one well. It is gone. Stephen Kwan, his first home run. We're tied at two. What a beautiful catch by that young man in right field. And Kwan, he turned on that baseball. One swing, did. we've got a tie game. Look at that. Fastball, belt high, middle in, and he turned on it. See how quick those hands are? You may think you can get it by him in there, and he couldn't. And look at that young man gets over, puts his glove out. Let's watch Steven, his first major league home run. That a baby. Time in Boston for the first time in Otani's major league pitching career. He takes the mound at Fenway Park. His split finger fastball. Here's the 2 2. That'll win two the count to Bogarts. One out, one on. And he went around, struck him out to start the bottom of the first. And he strikes him out here in the third. Four. Got him. Stayed with the firm stuff and struck out J.D. Martinez to strand a pair. Topped contact. Otani gets a lot of it. And that's been quantified this year. Got him. A word to him during the sixth and seventh as a manager. Did you avoid him completely? Of course. The one-two got him again. Third time he has struck out Trevor Story. Eight on the afternoon for Otani. Two again. He got him! Oh, oh man! Mixing a hundred with a nasty breaking ball. He takes care of Devers for a second time. One of the elite RBI men in the game had no chance. Nine for Shohei in a scoreless tie. 0-2 oh, pitch. Caught him again. The 3-2. He got him again! 11 for Otani! Even more hair on that fastball. Shohei Otani, cute this! Angels still lead to zip. Nobody out. A run in here in the eighth. Otani sends one the other way. That one's off the monster! Very close at third. Wow, way too close at third. And Ward is just safe. I for his last 18. And he drives yes. one to deep right center field. Forget that. That is way out of here. That's the way to break a slump. Francisco Lindor with a monstrous two-run homer. Third, McNeil at first. And Canna hits one back to the pitcher. It banks off him. He recovers, makes the throw, not in time. Alonzo is in. It's seven to four, and the Mets will get the tying run to bat in the ninth. Don Davis, two and zero, oh. and JD rips one down the line. That's an extra base hit. McNeil will score. Canna to third. He'll be held up there. It's an RBI double for JD Davis. It's seven to five, and the tying runs are in scoring position. And Brandon gets the curve and lines it in the center field. A base hit. In is Canna. Here's Jankowski. He scores, and the Mets have tied it. 
Brandon Nimmo with a two-run single. The Mets have scored six times in the top of the ninth to tie this game at seven and seven. And has already homered tonight at the plate. And Starling unloads one deep left center. Back to the warning track goes Herrera near the wall. It's off the base. Here's Nimmo around third. He'll come in to score and the Mets take the lead. Unbelievable. Starling Marte with his third consecutive hit. Drives in the go-ahead run with a double. And the Mets with seven runs in the ninth lead it eight to seven. And I said at some point it flips a little bit. And fly ball well hit center. Drifting back Kane. Hasta la vista. It's way out of here. Ronald Acuna Jr. with a moonshot home run. His first home run, Jeff, since last July. And how satisfying that trip around the bases must be for Ron. Watch him. It's an off-speed pitch. <laughs> Not on the ground, so I honestly I saw the ball get hit good, but I thought maybe he had missed it and just fell down. Left field. First time up at the dish. And he drives one to center field, hit well. Rodriguez is run out of room. Manny Margot with a three-run bomb in the ninth. And Tampa Bay is back on top. Bell. He makes his major league debut here tonight and sends a fly ball out to left field. It spins Profar back. It's deep. And welcome to the show. Don't you know, Joe makes it one nothing. I guess that's a good way to start your Major League Baseball career. Get a pitch out over the plate. High fly ball, right field and deep. Calhoun back on the track at the wall. See ya! Ball game. He walks it off, and the Yankees win two to one. That's a way to start game one of a doubleheader. And right there, I mean, if you see Claver Torres starting to use right center field, you're going to go back a few years when he was at his best. Starting in his role, whatever they need for him right now, he's coming through. That pink belt shining, I love it. And I'm sure, and let's check out the gritty. I love it. It's closer to home play, but it's a big time gritty. Here we go. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Justin. Ball one walk and four strikeouts. And Abraham leads on one. Tie ball game. Back to back, ninth inning home runs. Hey now. Toro with his fourth home run. It comes with one out here in the ninth, and we have a brand new ball game. The one one pitch. That will do it. Ball game. Tie France. Mariners win it 2 1. They end the six game losing streak. Get in Tampa Bay six game winning streak. Way to go, Tie France. That's the way you finish up a ball game on Mother's Day. Tie with a clutch hit right there to drive in a run. This place is going nuts. Otani drives that one. Center field, back on his roadless off the wall. Here comes Ward. That's going to tie the ball game. Shohei Otani with the double. We're knotted up at four. And listen to this crowd. Man, he almost won it. Oh, by Otani. Tie ball game. High fives for all the moms out there. 
Rendon drives that one to center field. Shohei Otani's being sent by Phil Nevin. The throw to the plate, Otani is! He's safe! The Angels walk it off and win the series! Anthony Rendon comes up big! And Shohei with the speed. And you need all that, but Robles out in center. A good throw to the plate, but Shohei slides in with the winning run. The emotion for Shohei Otani. Remember, he down on the mound the other day in Fenway. He scores the winning run. Ties it up with a two-run double. Scores the winning run. The man. Oh, what a sight. Kind of shocking, really, to come back. It all started, you mentioned, Renjifo. For Jorge Alfaro, Padres win it three to two. Happy Mother's Day. A hanger. Hits it out of the park. You get a free Jumbo Jack with a large purchase tomorrow. Now also on the Jack app. Go Padres.